So, and I really encourage you to, to watch through to the Convergence one because they invariably marry together on each, on each uh, show. It's really kind of cool. So I mentioned about step two, which I call living your desire on the inside, which is the feeling piece of it. And then step three, which is managing the resistance and the obstacles. Now, it's kind of like, I was going to say if, when you are doing step two efficiently, step three is going to find you. Okay, so when you're, you're thinking it and you're feeling it. Now, when you feel it, it's that feeling... I'm not going to say anything more about that because we are going to talk about it in the second part of the show. When you're feeling it, that's what starts to introduce change. It's not so much when you're just thinking it. And especially now, especially now, I'm just hearing this now, especially now, just thinking it isn't enough. We need to feel it, deeply feel it, because the opportunities and the abilities that we all have to manifest in very powerfully ways powerful ways and to live really passionately fully and completely requires us to embrace what we're going to talk about in the second part of the show right so when you're doing that step three which is managing the resistance and the obstacles or another way to look at that is releasing those blockages that's been preventing you or at least introducing hindrance to you experiencing your desire so you see that's the thing to remember is the only reason, whatever this desire is you may have, the only reason you're not experiencing that right now, just like that, is because there's something blocking it, right? That's really important to remember. It's not the desire isn't there. There's something blocking it. It's like the proverbial garden hose that's kinked, but the water is turned on. There is water wanting to flow through the hose. That's not the issue. The issue is the kink in the hose, right? An old analogy, but an accurate one. So when you're doing step two, and as you're doing step two, it's going to start to do step three, which is releasing those obstacles. Now, so often, when those obstacles, and as those obstacles, this is really valuable, as those obstacles or resistances, right, the kinks in the hose, as those are being released, we will feel labeled emotions. Whatever they may be, right? I mean, sad, sad. Uh, whatever they may be we're going to feel those emotions and there's nothing wrong with that to me what's so important is understanding the mechanics of what's happening the because here's what especially the normals do and i mean we do too it's just that we're aware of it so we can catch it sooner so here comes these emotions whatever it is Right now, what the normals do, because they are so conditioned to live from the outside in, right? So their outside or their external environment determines or dictates how they're going to feel. Right? An example, in order for me to feel happy, my external surroundings need to tell me I can feel happy. Okay. So then what happens is, as your being, body, mind, spirit, is releasing these things, these emotions come to the surface. Now, here's what we tend to do. The normals especially, and us as well. The emotion comes to the surface, and because we've been so conditioned that the external surroundings determine the internal environment or state or emotions, it's so easy for us to take those and attach it to something in our external surroundings. Because that's how we've been conditioned. And that's where, to me, this is really valuable. And the clarity that this brings to you and me is so powerful. Is especially as things are moving and those emotions are being released, is to resist that urge to go, I, I'll just give you an example. I'm feeling sad, right? So I'm feeling sad. And so then what we do is we take that and we attach it to something physic externally around us because that's what we've been conditioned to do. And so often, the external, whatever we choose, has nothing to do with it. Now, it may not be perfectly rosy or all this kind of stuff, 
but it's not the thing that's creating this emotion that you're feeling. And to me, that's what's so important to remember. And that's your tip for today is when you feel those emotions, resist the urge to automatically go, okay, I'm feeling whatever this is, what's causing it, who's causing it, why it's causing it, looking, 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 looking for all these external things that caused it. Maybe, maybe there is, but I find so often it's not. Right? So remember that your being, body, mind, spirit, is always, is always releasing those things it doesn't need anymore. And especially now, there's some deeper things that were being released. So as we're feeling those emotions, just rather than looking for the cause, 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 or attaching it to something externally, just focus in on the sensations of the emotion. So rather than looking out here for the reason, the culprit, the whatever, perpetrator, just go in here and focus on this. Because first of all, so often it's not them. And also it really helps expedite and ease the releasing because the reason those are coming into your awareness are not so you can relive them, it's so you can release them. All right, perfect. Okay, so let's move on.